DTE Energy in Michigan reporting up to 40,000 people are still without power after last week's ice storm took out several power lines. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Juliana Fafari. NBC 24's Derek Hyde was in Dundee today and has the latest on how residents are coping. Some residents here in Dundee are going on day five without power. Neighbors telling me they're relying on backup generators and fireplaces to get through. Since we've lived here, that's the worst storm that we've had. Wednesday, power lines snapped under the weight of up to a half inch of ice. The most frightful things is when you go to sleep at night and you could hear all the trees just snapping. It sounded like gunshots going off all night long and that was the branches breaking and trees coming down and limbs coming down all over the place. My yard's covered. Monday, neighbors Kenneth Locke and Mark Pitcher are still waiting for their power and central heat to return. I've been getting about 59. <laughs> yeah, it keeps you under the covers there for a while, but you have to get up and get moving. Pitcher shared that his backup generator broke Monday morning, leaving his lone heat source to just a wood fireplace. The rest of the house is about 40 degrees and I can keep that room at about 52. And I got sweatshirts on and wrap up in a blanket and just kind of sit there and read. DTE Energy said they are working to restore all the power and have brought in 2,000 out-of-state workers to aid repairs. What we have seen, though, are additional outages uh, coming into the system. And in some of those challenges, the uh, this heavy rain and cold weather and, uh, and icing conditions that we're seeing uh, create more outages uh, and that ice you know, also makes it tough to, uh, to travel around a little bit. Now DTE Energy does have some crews here on the site, but as you can see behind me, there are still power lines laying on the ground. In Dundee, Derek Hyde, NBC 24 News.